been watching the exchanges between those involved in the Occupy Wall Street movement and those who come from more conservative backgrounds such as Tea Party members, and have been disappointed to see both sides resorting to name calling, using terms like flea baggers, tea baggers, which are just low grade insults that only serve to divide people along artificial lines of left and right. The Occupy Wall Street movement, the Tea Party movement, and all the rest of us share a common enemy. That enemy is organized and powerful, and it has been playing us against each other for a reason. The left and the right are just two sides of the same slave camp. Even though the slaves far outnumber the slave owners, if the owners can turn the slaves against each other, which they've been doing successfully for some time now, then the slaves are easy to control. The real slave masters are the private banks which print money out of thin air and loan that money out to governments at interest. As long as the power to coin money is held by privately owned banks, voting is absolutely meaningless, and even the most well-worded list of demands will be of no avail. Right now, there is a small banking elite which hold the reins of power, not just in the United States, but across the globe. They are the real enemy. They are the real 1%, not some stockbroker who happens to make a six-figure income in the gambling arena that we call the stock market. I understand that the left and the right don't see eye to eye on many issues, issues that you may believe are of utmost importance. However, arguing over political wedge issues when your common enemy is crushing you and destroying your children's future is like debating how much public swimming pools will cost in post-war France while the Nazis are still occupying Paris. Get rid of banker control. Then you can argue about the details. If you don't, you'll have no real say in the details either. What we must realize is that our only chance of success lies in uniting. That means we have to set aside our artificial lines of left and right. You may not be comfortable with the changes in behavior that such a shift in thinking implies, but we are late in the game, folks, and there's far too much at stake for us to be fighting among ourselves like children. 